Hi, this is Daniel from Top Solid Blog. I've mentioned the contextual menu in Top Solid 7 before and how it tries to uh, predict your next step in your design by giving you uh, examples of uh, features you might want to use. So I thought uh, just for fun we're going to create a little part using only the contextual menu in Top Solid 7. So let's start off by just doing a simple sketch maybe something like this. To finish off your uh, sketch you can always just go back to your geometry and left click like that and your sketch is done. Uh, we'll add some dimensions. Let's make this a center dimension giving it a value of maybe 125. We want to uh, create a relation between this point and this point over here. To do that you press your control button on your keyboard, pick those two points and you click alignment and there you have a little relation between those points. Let's add some more dimensions. Maybe giving them the same value to keep it nice and simple. So uh, let's extrude this sketch, center it like that. Okay, maybe we want to change this dimension a bit. You can just double click your entity and you will see the dimensions like this. And you can also hide it the same way. So we'll make it a little longer, 150. Double click and your dimensions will disappear. So let's create another sketch up here. Like that, closing it like this. Okay. Just drag the center point down to the line to create a relation like that. Add some dimensions, giving it a radius of 15 perhaps, whoops, a bit large. Another dimension there, 25. Let's add a pocket. By right clicking your value you can give it the value of whatever, to a point, to a plane, to a surface, or whatever. Or, in this case, through all. Click OK. Now I think we will change this value to 45. Whoops. Oh, wrong button. We can add the pocket. We can edit. Clicking the through over. That looks better. So maybe we should, we can add a fillet to these edges. Maybe we want to edit it, add it before the pocket. So we go here, use the insert before, and we insert a fillet, giving it a value of maybe five like that. And when we're done, click and inserting. So maybe we go up here and add another sketch rectangle like that and now we can add some fillets really easy okay and we will center this by creating a middle point and dragging it down to the X axis. Okay, add some constraints once again. Make this 10, this giving this the same value, and this one also. Okay, so maybe we want to do another pocket. Why not? We can drag this button or we can just do like that. Okay, we're done. So, right click 
the surface and you get some suggestions we want to do a drilling in this case and maybe that's a bit big five perhaps and it's all centered now we want to do three more we can copy it by holding down the control button and just drag it to the center of the radius it will center automatically and just drop like that let's create another drilling over here we'll put our frame over there and we can drag it a bit like this maybe we want to make it a little bigger 10 like this okay okay so we want to move it a little bit we can edit the frame just by right clicking your entity and we'll put the frame up here instead maybe we can move it a little like this right click and OK and you have moved your hole so what can we do else let's mark this edge and we can give it a chamfer one over here as well OK maybe we can we can copy it over here to this edge and we can make another copy on the other side as well like that and so we're done that's just to show a little bit about what the contextual menu can do for you to make your everyday life a little easier and fun of course